So guys, it has been a long series uh, since we started to find a way we can build a chatroom application with React Native. So we are definitely done with the React aspect of this, I mean the React Native aspect of this. Right now we are going to switch over to the backend. So I'm in my uh, folder right here. I'm just going to uh, make a directory. I'm going to make a directory called chat system, uh, let's say B. I'm going to switch to this chat system B. So we are going to be working with SpaceJS as well as uh, uh, my SQL and uh, everything that can make our application to work effectively with our MySQL database. So the first one we are going to be doing is to uh, initialize npm init with the white flag in this directory. And I'm, I'm also going to add this directory as a workspace over here. So I add folder to the workspace. So you can see our package of JSON over there. And I'm going to install some couple things. Uh, the first thing I'm going to install is, I think I have to space this one more. I'm going to install firstly, Express.js. Then uh, we can install our config, install.env, JSON web tokens. Uh, so I just want to call Morgan for dev login, mysql sockets.io. We have to install the 2.3.0. Uh, we also have to install UUID. So let's install this for now. And I'll just wait for it to complete. I uh, spread this wrongly, so forgive me for that. So guys, even as you're watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the like button because this is uh, one way you can encourage me uh, to do more of relevant videos. So thank you for that. Hit the like button and also the subscribe button. So I also have some couple interesting videos of how you can set up uh, React Native. In case you don't know how to set up React Native, you can watch my channel for that. So we already have this done. The next thing I'm going to install is uh, Node.mon. I'm going to install it as a dev dependency. Whether you add the safe flag or not, is it will still work. So I made a mistake. So these are supposed to be in front, not in the back. So just like I said, whether you add the safe flag or not, it's going to work. So um, npm install. Also, we have to install a uh, course. Uh, we also have to install HTTP. I guess Express comes with HTTP, but in case we didn't, we didn't find it, we can come back and install that. And that's it for now. So let's just install course and wait. Uh, I don't know why I forget to install every time. So let's just allow it. So we have everything we need installed and installed. So these are the, the things, the dependencies that we installed over here. We have the config calls, dot express, JSON web token, Morgan. Uh, Morgan is used for dev login. So when I set it off, you are going to have a clear understanding of how it works. So right now I'm going to uh, make some couple files. But before then I have to reduce this. And uh, also, it's time for me to close this application because uh, it has been on our, on our screen since the UI began. But uh, I think for now, let's close it or let's just uh, minimize it for now. I think it will be better. So I'm going to create some files called server.js. For now, I'm going to create a file called server.js. I'm going to make also some directory. Uh, the first directory is going to be config. 
we also have to make uh, middleware uh, so sorry guys uh, let me just check some things uh, we also have to make helpers and also last routes so you can see that our folders are created now inside our server.js before we start our server we have to make sure that everything has to be configured so the first thing is the express we have to require express remember that we have express installed so i'm just going to uh, let me kind of increase the font size again just going to make this 20 then i can uh, increase this the next one is the path. We are going to be acquiring an express path uh, comes default. We have to bring in our Morgan we stored. Dot MV. Uh, dot EMV. So the HTTP, uh, of course, if you are using HTTPS, it's also good that you download HTTPS. I mean, install HTTP and not download it. Then we have the socket IO. We have to require our socket IO. Then we have to bring in uh, our express method down here and uh, append it to our app variable. Then we have to define our server. Our server is not just going to be normal uh, ExpressJS server. It's just going to be defined separately because we have socket.io here. We have to create server. We now have to pass our Express. If I remember, we installed our socket. So it's going to be socket.io. It could pass the server, then socket. And uh, then we have to configure our db, db config. So for our db, uh, we are definitely using MySQL. I'm going to create a folder. Sorry, I already created that. Then I'm going to create a file called db. And uh, so before we continue, I have to create out to create a file db. So inside our config folder, I'm going to create a file called db. JS and that's our database. So the first thing is to bring in our MySQL require MySQL. Uh, we have to define a global variable at the top called DB. Then we have to uh, let me create a method called connect to database. Now we have to make sure that it's active. We have an active database connection, or else uh, we just have to set a new DB to a new MySQL dot create connection. So it's going to accept our host, which is the local host. Oh, I miss PHP. It's been a long time. I use PHP. Our roots and password to be. Uh, nothing and I guess you know the next thing which is the database I'm using single quotes which can end up in problems so I think let's change this change all these to double quotes so we have to connect so the database is going to give us a callback uh, to check if we have any error. Then if there is no error, we have to uh, consider the log database is connected. But if we have any error, we have to consider log the error connecting 
to database and also we have to throw the error. So that's it for our db.js and the last thing is to return the uh, db. So beneath here, I just have to return this. So one more last thing I have to do here before we leave the DB file is to come down here then export this file as a module. Remember we will be importing it wherever we have to import it then we can export our method that has our variable DB. And uh, this is the method that we are going to be working with and uh, inside our server.js we already have that imported. So the next thing I'm going to uh, do beneath that is to load my configuration files. Now we are going to load this with .env, .env. So we're going to go to a path called config, and uh, sorry, a file called uh, config.env. Uh, so inside our config.env, we have to create a file first. There's only two things that we are going to add in our config.env. So which is exactly this .env, and exactly the first one is to get our node. Uh, sorry, I have to close this. Our node uh, environment. Uh, we can set that to development and the second one is our ports oh i don't know how to type again uh, let me kind of use a port that can be far different from whatever there uh, that's it for now we have to close this db file so that is it for uh, the config.env so once that is done we have to set up the dev login with the morgan so what we want to do is uh, for the morgan is to cut our uh, let's say our routes on our logger let's say for example when you make a request to slash home we have to console log that request and uh, also the status of the request so that's why we have uh, morgan installed so the way I'm going to do that is to command this to dev login. So now let me show you one more thing is uh, for the .env. Whenever we set our .env file part like this, it's going to load the variables of this part into our pro process environmental variables uh, let's say something like a global variables that any part of the application you are you can have access to it so we have to say if process dot environment dot node environment so i guess you know what i'm talking about now it's equal to development so you can remember that we did set that up then we have to use the Morgan because whenever the app is online, we don't need it anymore. And uh, beneath that, we have to set up our course. I'm sure I get that, yeah. Also, we have to set up our body butter. Uh, forgive me for this I'm kind of very weak because I'm recording at the midnight so body parts are middleware we are going to use only express with json and now uh, we have to use routes likewise now for the routes uh, for the home page we are going to require a file, uh, sorry for that, a file from the route folder, uh, the index file, or let me just say from the route itself. Uh, 
I'm going to copy this down two more. Uh, the, the second one is slash API slash users. Then we need to bring in slash API slash users. And uh, the last one is, let's say, API slash off for the login. Uh, so it's going to still be API slash off. Then uh, let's say touch room routes. So touch room routes are just going to be uh, middleware. Uh, it's not just going to be like all these other routes both. So for that itself, we... Mm, okay, let's just move on. Uh, maybe in the next part of this video, I'm going to uh, create the route for the chat room and also for all the routes. So I'm just going to, let me just comment this for now. Chat room routes is going to require, uh, let's say from our middleware folder, sockets, and uh, we're going to, it's going to return a function by default that's going to accept the app and the IO as well as the DB. Then for ports, So guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the like button. Or else it's going to use 6,000. So you understand what I meant by the process environment uh, variables, something like a global variables. Then lastly, we have to listen to our ports. Then if this connection is successful, we have to console.log server started on ports so I see we still have enough time uh, I don't want this to be more than 25 minutes I'm going to kind of create some route right now so if I save this uh, of course you don't have anything for now uh, the first file I'm going to create uh, is the route the index or js file so for me, I'm going to create a file called index.js. And uh, the second one is uh, we are going to create a folder called API. Now, inside that, we have to create a file called uh, users. And uh, the last one is API slash off. So the three files are ready, so there is nothing much we, can, we are going to do for now, so we just have to bring in our express uh, We have to bring in our router here from the express uh, Forgive me for that uh, My VIN just ran into a problem and uh, we have to module the response router then in the middle we just have to use router.get uh, let's get the home page of that and it's going to give us a callback with the request and the response I guess you're familiar with node.js then we can say console.log auth so nothing much, I'm just going to copy this and I'll paste this here. Let's say this is users. And I'm going to copy this likewise and paste it. Uh, this one is just the welcome page. So that's it for the routes. Then the second one is the middleware. Uh, for now, I'm just going to comment this because this is where we are going to be handling all our chat messages. So it's going to be a ton of work over there. So let me not just kind of stress myself for now. I'll score that. And uh, <laughs> that's funny. So I'm just going to uh, set up the way we can run our application. So from the package.json file, uh, over here we just have to get rid of this. Let's use dev. So it's just going to be node more index. Uh, 
it's a server and uh, change this to server.js now let's uh, run this so you can see that our server has been uh, wanted to start course is not defined I suspected that uh, so course course you have to require course oh I don't know why my beam is running into some problems so it's just course just like the course you have in the university so let's save and uh, let's terminate this clear this with ctrl l and uh, let's run that again to see what we have says port is not defined of course it's not supposed to be defined we use small variables so over here it's supposed to be capital variables so let's save and check again so you can see that our port is started on uh, localhost uh, 9000 <laughs> so the error you see here is because uh, the database itself I don't think we are connected to the right database or maybe my sum, I guess my sum is off for now. So let me kind of open my sum. I don't know why my machine is down. Not that. Uh, so it's just my sum. Okay. Once I start this, uh, let's say, let me save this again and go over. I'm just going to restart uh, on node database. Of course, on node database, trust system. So I can just come over here in the database. Uh, just have to create a new database called chat system. So let's make sure it's correct. It says on non database chat system. Um, just hit create. Uh, for now, let's just create a user. For now, uh, let me just add some values to it. So you're going to have an ID. It's going to be an integer maximum of 11 billion. Um, let's say the name of the user, the variable character are not more than 250, the email address, same thing, uh, the password is going to be a variable character, not more than 250 likewise, uh, uh, the chat user, uh, let's use 20, uh, 20. Uh, is there another thing I need, the date, of the registration which is uh and date time and um, not more than 20. so let's see save say two big uh for dates uh let me use current time stop for that and uh, see you all have oh it's kind of the six it worked and that's it for the setting up of the database so let's save this again and see what our application is going to start effectively and right now we don't have an error and also our database is connected so guys thank you very much for watching this video i would like you to hit the subscribe button as well as the like button please don't forget to share my video and also uh, call your friends to watch this video so thank you, see you on the next part of this video.